Friend zone this motherfucker. Thank God we're past the shipping phase of this show. I hope. <laughs> but this one's called Communication Studies. No idea what the hell that's about. No place to take that in the intro, so let's just get into this shit. You should come. Maybe your study buds will go. What's the blonde's name? Bitter Butter Beetlejuice? Uh, I prefer Beetlejuice. Britta. Yeah, she's... I'm gonna join you at that dance. But, as a novice boyfriend, can I get a map of the minefield known as Women's oh, Valentine Expect... You're fucked. Jeff Winger, I am calling you... <laughs> What the fuck is this? So, what's that? <laughs> Holy shit, what the hell was that? <laughs> from Vaughn. He's away on a vision quest. Excellent, he's fucking not here. You got Oh, good, now it has arrows, that's safe. <laughs> yep, Sorry, she's been hungover. It's okay. uh, alibi for Cobain's suicide? No, but you can oh, help yourself to a shorter forehead and non-Keebler nose and shutting yeah, up. Yeah, shutting the fuck up, in fact. I mean, not the words, the clouds of bourbon vapor mm, forming. Bourbon. My kind of woman. Real. And then you said, I should call Jeff. Yeah. Because the first thing I do Play when I'm having fun her. is think about Jeff Winger. <laughs> 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 What's up? That's a uh, booty call implication. <laughs> yeah, she's out of here. <laughs> she's going to go throw up, as she should. Save that message forever. What happened to Britta? Justice. Exactly. Having spent the year denying her attraction to me just to be alternative. They've been together for a year? The, the community? Jesus. It's only episode 16, man. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm Abed. I never watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Abed's character only annoys me because he's overpowered, but they haven't really been doing that in the last handful of episodes, so he annoys me less. This motherfucker, That's however... Real. Continues to annoy yeah, me at the yeah, same established yeah. level, which is What? Here's your Valentine, so you can stop being a pissy little bitch. Not study. You got it for yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, she's she's dumb, but you got it for yourself, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm some Danielle. She's a uh, so did you, lady. Beep, beep. Oh my god, what's going on? Beep, beep, bullshit. Beep, 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 that's his bullshit bull detector. My bullcrap going crazy. Yes. Okay, beep, beep, you're, beep, beep, uh, you're less annoyed now, motherfucker. Beep, beep, Call these bitches out. Oh, Call oh, these bitches out. Yes. Obviously sent to yourselves to make a You are less annoying now. Thank you. This sign love Troy. <laughs> I tell you, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Busted. <laughs> Get these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on his side. I'm into it. I feel horrible about themselves. Somebody needs to humiliate Man, I guess I'm an asshole, dude, because I'd love that shit. Mustache. Fuck them. Me juice box. Okay, now that's being an asshole there. See, there is a difference here. She was not doing... She's an innocent person walking past and he's a dick to her. That's being an asshole. These motherfuckers tried to pull an attention-grabbing stunt and it backfired on their asses. They got what, what was coming to them. They shouldn't have pulled that shit. You see, I mean, there's a difference here, man. There's levels to this shit. I mean, does it, it's not like a big deal. <laughs> it's even weird. worse. I'll talk to you the made it worse. Leave me alone until then. <laughs> Dick. But when Chandler saw Rachel naked on Friends, Man, to even the score, friends. Rachel needed to see Chandler's penis. To Idiot. even the score, I have to drunk dial her? Isn't that absurdly simplistic? It really won't work? fucking work, Maybe. man. It won't work because she already knows you're into her, man. You got to do something she's not expecting. Real. Have you ever acted drunk before? I can totally do it. I'm fine. This ain't going to fucking work, man. The, what made her work with her was the fact that she had been saying she wasn't into him and the drunk driver revealed something about herself that he didn't know before. Or at least confirmed it, right? In this case, he's been fucking hitting on her since day one, man. Like, how does that fucking even the scales, man? I reject your premise. What you gotta do is, uh, you gotta record this ahead of time, man. Boop, 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 boop. That way you can analyze and make sure this is the exact take you want to use and then call her and leave the message. Because you only got one shot. Unless you have one of those phones that can delete the message and try again. I don't, I've never had one of those phones. Do you like Britta? Sure, who doesn't? Over half the people that meet her? <laughs> she is kind of an asshole. Like I said, she's a female Jeff. She has more fights about stuff that doesn't matter than a YouTube comment section. Oh, shit. She's passionate, which... Damn, just call us out, man. Watch it. Watch what? A phony drunk dial soaked in <laughs> phony pity that insults pretty even more? Or a believable performance? Get his ass. See, like I said, now he's being overpowered again, right? He's the perfect director along with being the perfect everything else. I am sure you're a good director. 
But you are a horrible drinking buddy. <laughs> I mean, I can't feel things with you studying me like a beige praying mantis. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, God, man. I thought you never drank. Scorsese drank with De Niro. Oh, shit. Did he? That doesn't seem like a good idea. I never did this shit before or during filming, man. Like, that's just a bad idea. I had to fire a director one time because he was a drunk. You know? Not his fault, but, like, you know, we're running a business here. A lot of people don't understand this. Um, filmmaking, you owe... God damn, man. Holy shit, that's something I've never seen before. Alcohol-soaked hot dogs. I'll talk about the investors at the end. Let's keep paying attention. See, I don't party like this. I just make bad jokes. You're not ready yet, man. This is gonna fail, but at least they had fun getting to the failure. Ooh, looks like the law <laughs> firm of Seacrest and Slum Dogs taking the day off. He is like Seacrest. How many, how many fucking day, Valentine's Days in a row do we have? It's from Princeton. They <laughs> to make you me associate professor of the Spanish department? <gasps> They're telling me I can name my <laughs> Get this motherfucker. Fuck you. At Princeton, come on! You two oh, shit. really thought I'd shit. fall for God this, damn. Huh? This is your pathetic attempt to punish <laughs> me for humiliating you. <laughs> but we didn't do or say that. He's sharper than I thought he was. <laughs> you can't do that. Have you met me? <laughs> I gotta say, man. I mean it. That's right. Tonight, wield, the, wield this power, motherfucker. Swing bitches. your dick around. I keep going back and forth. I'm with you win or tie. If you're losing a scene, I'm not with you anymore. And that motherfucker ain't lost a scene in a couple episodes now. He's killing it. <laughs> I like they smart enough to fucking handle this shit. <laughs> it's three o'clock. God damn it, what happened? Drunk. The last thing I remember is you were dancing <laughs> like that girl. Oh, I just saw. I couldn't tell where the hell that bed was. So he kind of blended into the furniture bed. Where's my phone? Got it. You made two He probably calls. called some actual girl. Ex what a Brita? Oh, oh your shit. girlfriend. I don't remember either of them. Yeah. Neither do I. Shit. I still can't believe I'm a size 14. You're not, motherfucker. I know the 12 is a little tight, but... Let's we're talking about the size of off. your ass. You guys... Jeez, these motherfuckers are wrecked. <laughs> you look about ready to marry Courtney They're rickety, Love. rickety wrecked. <laughs> That's the reverse of my zinger from before. Yeah, yeah. Please stop shouting. All right. <laughs> yeah, you should have hydrated. You, you should take some people. you remember calling me last night? Yeah. Why? Are we cool? Oh, oh yeah. shit. Have a seat, drunky Brewster. Let <laughs> the fuck did he say, man? He must have confessed to some shit, man. Um, we don't want to know what he confessed to. Just like we don't want to know what Jeff whispered to Troy last episode. So, get this goddamn mascot out of my face, man. I'm telling you, man. Fucking thing is creepy. I've been calling you. Yeah, I know. You're dead to her. I figured I'd just let it go to voicemail in case you. Oh fuck. Elaborate. Oh, you don't remember calling me at four in the morning and hanging up when you realized I was Holy Atlanta? shit. I guess not. God damn. You're dead to her. I was trying to call Brit oh, to Jesus order you Christ. coffees. That's weak, motherfucker. That's the most, most biggest load of horseshit I've ever seen in my life. I cannot believe he tried to shovel that. You can't pick up ice cream for Law & Order oh, night because Jesus. it feels too yeah, dirty. Get his ass. First of all, chubby hubby. I mean, could you... Chubby, chubby. Uh, you're, you're, you're a fucking child. Let's talk about this later. I need to chaperone something. Yeah, yeah. Dead to her, bitch. <laughs> Solve one problem and create another one. That it makes it our manly God duty right. to Get this. protect them tonight. Protect oh, these motherfuckers. that's nice, but we really can't let you Shut that. the hell up and let them do this no, walk. right. And be sure to shake your asses. I mean, I'd knock the teacher out, but that's just me. I wouldn't have graduated from college either. Well, at least you'll get this date tonight. Meow. You know, when you called me last night and invited me Holy to the dance, shit. I was shocked. Yeah, she's playing him. Old. She is playing him, man. Are you okay? Don't go for this. Don't fucking go for this. No, no, look. Sorry. Uh, I don't go for this dumbass. Duff, and I'm in the doghouse, and if she finds out about this, it's over. <laughs> so again, I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. Get his ass. Make this motherfucker grovel and sweat. No, you didn't remember. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're goddamn right, motherfucker. I would carry a block of fucking wood 200 yards 
to make him sweat. Oh shit. Oh, this is gonna save his ass. I am, and I want you to be as happy as me because you're like a friend zone. No, friend zoned. I'm sorry. I've just made a turtle face. Friend zoned this motherfucker. That was the first 20 seconds of oh, 40 minute shit. message. Very important. Oh shit, get his ass. She has you over the barrel forever, motherfucker. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. But see, here's a, there's something to play here. I'm going to get into it in a minute when this is over with. There's an underlying problem here. Yep, yeah, she saved his fucking toasty ass. Oh, wait a minute. Are, are they implying that they're leaving the party right now so she, they can fuck? Apparently so. You said he hated Froya. Just try. <laughs> Hurry up. Godspeed, friend. Godspeed. So here's the underlying problem here. She didn't trust him. And she didn't trust him for a reason. That's a problem. She didn't trust his word. It took physical proof to convince her, okay, he's on the up and up. That's not good. You shouldn't need proof to, you know, like in a situation like that. His word should be enough. The fact that it's not means there's an underlying problem. This relationship's never going to work. Which, it's a sitcom. I get it. She's just a recurring guest star. She's not a regular. That's probably enough evidence we need for it not to work anyway. But taking all that way, assume it's not a TV show. That's a problem. He has established an atmosphere where she doesn't believe what he says and she believes there's something going on with these two. That's, that's, that's a bigger picture issue. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's just... He solved the problem tonight, but he didn't solve the problem for good. Like, she, he's created this atmosphere. He's afraid of commitment or whatever, which is always, like, the fucking grade school sitcom issue with men have. Like, it, in my experience, pe men aren't any more likely to be afraid of commitment than women are. It's just, it's such a fucking sitcom thing. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. There wouldn't be as many men married if they were fucking afraid of it. You know, but whatever. Put that aside. It, he is afraid of commitment. And he's established that atmosphere. He didn't even want to get Chunky Monkey or Chubby Hubby or whatever it was, right? Chubby Hubby. Because it sounds too much like a commitment, right? Well, that's something he's fostered over however many weeks they've been together. They've been together for months, apparently, because, like, apparently, what we've seen so far is a year of time. They've been in the show for a year. That we, we saw, they started in uh, September, we saw Christmas, and now we're probably getting to the end of the school year, right? So it's been, on, they say a year, I guess they mean school year. So it's been about eight months, right? He's probably been with the teacher at least four months. You know, I think he got with her before Christmas, right, if I'm remembering right. So I just say, if, you know, you can't fix in one night what you spent months fucking up. You can fix in one night what you spent one day fucking up, but he has spent months fucking this up. You ain't fixed that one night. So I'm just saying that's going to be an over overriding issue. So, yeah, this this is just not going to work out. 